and welcome back to the Bibs channel. My name is Kaylin and today I'm going to be talking about some books. So before I kick off the book reviews, today I'm going to be talking about Treat-tastic Thursdays. So Treat-tastic Thursdays is going to be a little theme for October. I'm going to be releasing a new video every Thursday in the month of October that's going to be like fall Halloween related. So I'm really excited. So for today's video, it's going to be a book review on The Merciless and The Merciless 2, so I am super excited to review these books because I've been meaning to review these since I first read them back in July for like the book a thon and such things. Tricktastic Thursday, the first video is going to be a book review of some spooky recommended horror books for the month of October if you're feeling spooky or scary. So to get things started off, I'm going to do a quick, short, little fast review that's spoiler free and the first book is The Merciless which I rated 5 out of 5 stars which is my favorite book of the year and I absolutely highly recommend and enjoy it. You will love this book for the month of October if you love spooky, scary, horror, gore, that thing. This book is for you. Next up is the sequel which is The Merciless 2. If you read The Merciless then you can read this. This is not my favorite book of the year at all. This is my first one star review of the year. I did not like this book whatsoever. I thought it was the most stupid sequel but you may enjoy this. You may like this. It's just my own personal opinion. I didn't like it but if you really liked and enjoyed the first one I'd highly recommend picking up the second one. There's going to be a third and fourth installment, but those won't come out till later. So first up, our first book review, which we're going to get in depth and spoiler now. So if you haven't read The Merciless or The Merciless 2, please leave the video. I will leave a little time slot or something on the video somewhere. So if you have read The Merciless and you want to see a Merciless 2 spoiler review, definitely go to that thing somewhere on the screen and I will put that review there. So to start off, The Merciless. The Merciless is like Mean Girls meets horror, Satan, gore, scariness. It's like the Halloween party, but it, it, there's no party and it's just scary. This book takes place where this main character, Sophia, she moves around a lot and she's always the new girl at places. So she ends up in a school in Mississippi and she meets the popular new girls and then there's also this just weird kind of outcast girl that she meets. And they're both like, don't be friends with her and don't be friends with her. That's kind of the whole premise of the book. And things get really crazy. The reason why I absolutely loved and enjoyed this book and the reason why it's my favorite book so far of the year because this book is so addicting that you just gotta sit there and you will read it all night long until you're finished because you just can't stop reading because it's so intense and you just like, I don't know who's bad, who's good, who is possessed, who isn't possessed, who's actually crazy, and if it's just all made up. That's why I absolutely love this book because it was so unpredictable and thrillerish and horror and gory and scary. It just, huh. This book was just absolutely heart racing. I was just flipping through the pages, constantly trying to figure out what was going to happen next, who was going to live, who was going to die, who was just going to burn to death. And this book, I could not tell who was the good person and who was the bad person. And it just downright scared the living fuck out of me. Like, excuse my language, but this book scared me. Um, I just loved this book so much. and It was so intense. And this was like the first horror book that I've ever read. I don't do scary movies. I can't even watch Ghost Adventures without getting scared and having nightmares. I am the least likely person to pick up a horror book and I picked it up and I absolutely loved and enjoyed it. I think my favorite scene from this book has to be the whole upstairs is like on fire and everyone has left and Sophia stays behind and starts ripping out Brooklyn's staples with her teeth. So Brooklyn is up against a cross stapled up there and our main character has to like go up to her and bite the staples out of her skin while she's sitting there and like burning and this whole house is burning. It was so freaking nasty and disgusting but that is the one scene that just wow wow but yeah so I needed to douse myself in holy water and praise Jesus 15 million times and go to church every week after I read this book and so I didn't become possessed but I absolutely highly loved and recommend this book so if you haven't read this book pick it up and read it for the month of October even though I just like spoiled you but whatever. The next book in the series is The Merciless 2 which I picked up this year when it was released. I would have to say that The Merciless is my favorite book that I've read of 2016. 
This book is my least favorite that I've read out of 2016. I rated this one out of five stars on Goodreads. It just did not live up to hype and expectations. All her friends are like dead at this point. So it's just Sophia and her mom and her grandma. Sophia's mom ends up dying. So her grandma can't take care of Sophia because all she can muster out is Diablo, Diablo, Diablo. And that's basically it. So she doesn't have anywhere to go. So she ends up going to this boarding school. And that's where shit just kind of falls apart too. Um, nothing was really scary or gory or horrifying. There was like a solid 30 pages where like terrifying stuff happened and it wasn't even all that terrifying. Um, we go to like a boarding school where there's like a father and like the nuns and everything. So I'm, I thought it was going to be really scary and it just, it wasn't. Like they killed a bunny, which I was like, okay, that's, that's sad. Not really upsetting. It, it's an animal. Okay. Um, then they like hurt this one, they hurt uh, one of the friends that Sophia makes there and I still was just kind of disappointed and then, oh, there goes my book, well then. But like the whole storyline was just really lacking what the first book had where it was just fast, things were just crazy, things were just downright horror and gore and like the only thing that really happens is that like the church burns down, the bunny gets killed, a girl gets injured and then like there's a chase scene where it's her and the nun and they're running away from the bad kid, the kid that's trying to perform an exorcism on Sophia. And the whole like exorcism scene, like the cute boy trying to help her out that she's not supposed to hang out with, like cool, but n nothing was all that scary and nothing frightened me or anything. It just was lacking what the first book did when they were having exorcisms and stuff. Like it was really lacking that a thrilling moment and scary moment. And then in the end, um, the nun that was her teacher ends up being Brooklyn and Brooklyn comes back and she's like, ha ha ha, I killed your mom and once the evil's inside of you, like, it's not leaving you. I mean, like, the only part that I really enjoyed of the book was like the last chapter or the epilogue or whatever it was. I don't care and I don't want to look it up in the book right now because I could give two craps less. That was like the only part that I really liked was when the cops came in and she like bit him, I think, or something and I'm like, okay, that's kind of gross and nasty. Well, I'm glad we got our fixins at the end. The author did announce that there's going to be a third and fourth book in this series. Will I pick it up? I don't know because I don't know if this series is gonna redeem itself because the first book was amazing, absolutely amazing, and then the second book was just like the biggest letdown ever, and I don't know how we're gonna, like, with things that the author's been talking about, like, I don't know if that's gonna make for a good third and fourth book. So while I continue this series, I don't know. I was trash for the Merciless, so I will probably pick up the rest of the series, knowing me. Anyways, those were just my thoughts and feels and opinions on the Merciless slash Merciless 2. Have you guys read those books? What were your thoughts and feels? Leave a comment in the description box below. Also, do you plan on reading any scary, spooky books this month? And don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next week for a new spooky video.